Hi, my name is Jackie. Um, I am, well, actually already, as of right now, already have started um, a 90-day beef butter bacon and egg challenge. Um, I started June 27th, and I am going until September 25th. Um, I am 36 years old. Uh, my weight topped out at 222, at least as far as my scale is concerned. I'm sure at some point I was heavier than that. Um, I suffer from severe migraines and have since I was nine. Um, in the last two or so years, uh, I have suffered from plantar fasciitis, uh, severe enough that even standing 10 minutes, I was in excruciating pain. Um, had joint inflammation, uh, brain fog, not being able to keep concentration, just constantly tired. Uh, I've had depression on and off for years. Uh, I know I had it pretty bad in high school. Um, and then very thin and frail nails. Uh, the only way I can get my nails to grow out is having dip or, um, gel on them and otherwise they just shatter and break. Um, I am doing this to prove that even as far as having a crazy hectic work schedule, you can do this challenge. Um, I work normally six days a week, 10 hour days, um, nonstop pretty much. Uh, at one point we're doing 12 hour days seven days a week for about a year and a half. So that was fun. Um, so my average, I work 56 to 60 hours most weeks. Um, sometimes I'm still doing seven days a week. It just depends on, um, how we're doing at work. Um, but the average is probably closer to 60. Um, when COVID shut everything down, uh, my work schedule got insane. Um, like I said, we were doing 12 hour days, seven days a week, uh, nonstop. Uh, at one point I believe we did like 74 days straight. It was intense. Needless to say, I lapsed from my keto, which I had been doing for a couple years at that point. Um, and I gained 80 pounds back. I had gotten down to 141, I believe, and I topped back out at 222. Uh, needless to say, I was miserable. I was tired. I didn't want to do anything. My depression was pretty much back full force. Um, I was not in a good place. Uh, I stumbled upon two crazy ketos. Um, I had already listened to Ken, Dr. Ken Berry. Um, I had listened to Keto Connect, all those people, uh, Dr. Baker and all that good. Um, but something stuck out with the 2K cake fam. Um, I think I found them right at the right, right point where I needed them. Um, I started, uh, my keto journey again, uh, March 28th, um, gave up all the bread, carbs, and sugar, um, and then I started watching their, um, triple B&E challenge. Um, I actually did 44 days before, uh, right, uh, before I went on vacation a couple weeks ago, just to kind of see how I do. Uh, loved it. It was amazing. I had great results. Um, everything was gone better, everything. Um, but I was going on vacation, wanted to get, you know, have vacation stuff. Uh, I didn't want to have to super restrict. Um, I did end up eating very meat heavy. Sorry, my kitten's down here playing with stuff. Um, sorry, I'm in my craft room. <laughs> And she found clean paper. Um, but yes, I ate very meat heavy. Um, I did have a few desserts. I had a lot of alcohol. 
Um, there was a bourbon coffee on board that was amazing, and I had several of those a day. They were very, very good. Um, I actually ended up gaining 14 and a half pounds on the cruise, which is to be expected. Uh, I lost like seven the first week, so I knew that was all inflammation and stuff. And I actually just got the last bit of that 14 pounds off uh, last night, I think. Um, and so my current weight is 191. Um, let's see what else is there. Um, my BMI started at a 39.6. So, uh, I think that's morbid obesity or getting pretty close there to it. Um, I don't have any crazy weight goals. Um, I want to be around 125 for somebody that's five foot two, five foot three. I think that's a pretty accessible goal. Um, according to the BMI charts, if you go by any of that, uh, I think I can be 104, which I would look super gross, um, to 139. So I think 125 is like right in that middle ground. Um, I know in high school at 118, I was still a size eight. So believe me, my hips will not let me get super tiny. Uh, I don't want to be super tiny. I just want to be a healthy, happy weight where I can do what I want, explore, get more comfortable doing stuff. Um, just like this weekend, I'm going to go ride a motorcycle at 222. There's no way. Um, I mean, I'm only lost 29 pounds, but I'm a lot more comfortable and I can move and I'm more comfortable in my skin. Um, other than that, uh, this really is more for me. Um, this is going to be my accountability. I'm keeping myself accountable. Um, if this helps somebody else, amazing. Um, it you're thinking about doing beef, butter, bacon, and eggs, do it. I have no questions. Get your stuff set up, get your ground beef, get some steaks, get bacon, uh, stock your house full of eggs. Um, if you think you can't do it, it is possible. I hate keeping track of everything. Um, I would do it for a while, um, and I would just get frustrated. Beef, butter, bacon, and eggs, you don't have to track anything. You can eat as much as you want, whenever you want. Uh, Dr. Barry's like, eat till you're full. Uh, keep yourself full. Um, I would recommend this challenge to anybody. Um, right now I'm getting a lot of negative feedback from my family. Uh, everybody thinks I'm going to have a heart attack. And die tomorrow. Um, I don't see how you can have a heart attack when you feel amazing. I really don't. Um, and as I can say, I'm technically taking doctor's advice. I mean, what better excuse can you have than that? Um, but yeah, uh, any questions or whatever, feel free to ask. But like I said, this is more an accountability for me. It's not going to be anything super fancy. It is me checking in, making sure I stay on track. Um, by September 25th, I'm hoping to be down at least another 20 pounds. Uh, that is my goal. I don't, like I said, I'm not, I don't want to set crazy goals get disappointed, get frustrated, and quit. That was the point. Set many goals for yourself is the best thing I've I've done with myself. Like I did I think my first goal was like fifteen pounds. Hit fifteen pounds and I think I gave myself eight weeks. It's attainable. Um especially with keto. Uh now I will say take measurements, take pictures don't just do your weight um i gained or i lost six pounds but i 
plus clothes sizes. Um, just in the 30 pounds, 29 pounds, um, I've gone from a men's 2X to a women's medium or small depending on what it is. So do not just take your weight. Take your measurements. Take your pictures. Definitely take your pictures. Um, I'm going to be doing measurements, I think, twice a week. Um, maybe once a month. We'll see. We'll see how, if, if there's a, a drastic change at two weeks, um, I'll go ahead and take them all down and share them. Uh, if there's not a huge change, we'll let it go and uh, uh, I'll do it for every four, four weeks if I can talk. Um, pictures I'm going to take weekly just so I can do a, a staggered picture. Um, there's not, I'm sure there's not going to be massive changes week to week, but, um, but yeah, uh, like I said, this is my accountability. I will not be doing anything fancy. I am here to keep myself straight and on the right path. So I hope everybody decides to try this or do something similar. Um, I can't, I mean, I'm two weeks in again and I already feel like I did when I had done my first 45, four days. Um, and I live on Redmond salt. Um, Redmond salt and keto chow electrolyte drops are like my mainstays along with my beef butter bacon and eggs. So, but yeah, I hope this helps somebody.